So I've just updated my tool to also work with the, the deaths and recovered cases. Until now it was just graphing or, or plotting circles where the, the confirmed cases were. So let's just run this and I've got the latest data from John Hopkins University as of the 13th of March. It goes up to the night of the 13th of March. Okay, so it's all up to date from John Hopkins. Let's, let's do the confirmed cases. And you'll see China's still a big one. And there's quite a lot of cases coming in uh, Italy and Iran and Korea. And there's dots all through Europe, France and Spain. Dots all through the USA, dots through Australia. There's dots everywhere. But the big dots are mostly, uh, well, through Europe now. And also Italy, Iran, China and uh, Korea. Okay, now when you look at the deaths, the situation changes slightly. Let's have a look at that. So here we're plotting the deaths by day. And... Um, and again, the circle here for Italy is growing much, much bigger in comparison to the confirmed cases. The confirmed case circle was much smaller. So this is telling me that uh, more people are dying in Italy from the coronavirus than they are in China. And there's also, there's very few deaths in Korea, relatively speaking. Okay. Um, so proportionally more deaths in, it in Italy and proportionally much fewer deaths in Korea. So something seems to be strange here. Maybe some data's missing. I might have to email the guys at JHU and see what they say, the guys and, and the ladies and men. Let's just do the recovered cases as well. And the recovered cases should be the confirmed cases minus the deaths once people are recovered. And you'll see this is growing much, much slower. There's virtually not even a dot in Italy and Korea. So maybe there's data missing. Uh, there's not many dots throughout the USA. Maybe, maybe people are taking time to uh, pronounce that cases are fully recovered. Mate, that might be it. Okay, uh, but certainly the deaths does look strange. Let's just look at them again. So look at the confirmed cases, and uh, you'll see there's quite a few confirmed cases: Europe, Italy, Iran, and Korea, and China are the big ones. China's the biggest. And remember, this circle here is just I picked a random size of circle, 100 across, 100 radius, 100 diameter, uh, because if I made it smaller, like a five pixel circle, these these other dots here wouldn't even show up. They wouldn't even be pixels pixels in size. Okay, so it's not to, it's not to indicate that all of China's infected or anything like that. It's just the circle size that I chose to make these other dots show up. <laughs> okay, let's do let's do the uh, the deaths, and you'll see that the uh, it's quite surprising how many are in Italy, proportionally more. Yes, that's definitely correct. And the recovered cases, there's hardly any in Italy, proportionally speaking. Okay, there's still a dot there, but it's so small the camera's not, the recording's probably not even going to pick it up. And there's a tiny dot there. So, again, maybe uh, maybe the data's out of, out of date somewhere. I'll have to email JHU and see what they say. Anyway, I don't want to spread panic or anything. It just looks like there's something fishy going on with the data. Okay. Anyway, I'll upload this video, and if you've got any questions or comments, please comment. And um, if you know anything, any answers to do with why the data is showing proportionally more deaths in Italy and hardly any in Korea, please also comment as well. Anyway, thanks for watching. Have a nice day. There's certainly no, no need to panic as yet, but um, I'm just keeping an eye on things. Thanks for watching.